ですよね三日月さんいいねはあこういうのはもっと慎重にだろうまけえなあげんぞあっすごい待ってるぞ私の目くらいはい、皆さん、こんにちは。そう、はい、このエピソードのガンダム・アイアン・ブラッド・オーフェンズは、かなり、ヴァイオレンス、もしくは、1つの言葉を言うことができるエピソードを言うことができるエピソードです。私は、かなり、ミカズウキが言うことができるエピソードを言うことができるエピソードです。私は、かなり、ミカズウキが言うことができるエピソードを言うことができるエピソードです。私は、かなり、ミカズウキが言うことができる And as always, let's do a quick recap what happened. So it first starts off with Biscuit going around serving food and whatnot. He walks into the adults' room and they're like, What the fuck, bro? This, this soup is not chunky enough. Get out of here, fat boy. You, why don't you use the meat on your body <laughs> to give us some more food or whatever like that? But the thing here was that the soup has sedatives inside of it, which explains why the adults woke up in a pretty suspicious looking dark room. <laughs> Um, in front of the kids, and、um, that's where the first incident happened.、Um, so, Mikazuki, like, I, I, I literally said, What the fuck, to the things he did in the scene. So, one of the guys outbursts. Mikazuki walks up to him, pulls out a gun, and just shoots him in the head multiple times. Another one outbursts. He points the gun at his head and just shoots him down without much thought to it. I'm just like, fucking what? What? This guy is so freaking crazy, man. Like, if this had been someone like Kira Yamato, you would not even see this shit happen, obviously, but this guy, it, you get to see some pretty violent aspects of Mikazuki. Because it seems like in this episode, he didn't really give much thought to the lives of other people. He, They didn't really hesitate to kill them. And this makes you kind of think about Mikazuki,、um, his personality. It kind of, it's kind of weird how Mikazuki is. Like, he's a mature kid, and he can be nice sometimes, but he can also be incredibly violent, obviously, for this episode. And、um, it kind of makes me think about who's next, who's going to be killed by Mikazuki next, because, oh my god. Like, if you guys saw the last review I did, I was like, I hope Lieutenant Crank doesn't die, and well, he dies in this episode by Mikazuki. And I'm just like, fuck me, man. This guy was just introduced like like two episodes ago, and he just dies. <laughs> Another character dies so fast. Like I said before in like the first episode, they kill characters off without much you know, time for them to you know, be around other characters in these series. So one character might be introduced in like episode seven or something. And we'll probably die in episode 9. So, <laughs> what this tells us is that don't really get attached to a character because, well, they might fucking die. So, after they pretty much take over CGS, the kids that is, they rename it into Tekadan. And the only problem they face is that, well, since they killed Crank, Gallahorn is definitely going to be on their ass now, definitely. And also, they're in a financial crisis. But they can hopefully get out of the financial crisis due to Crudelia's special friend that supposedly has a lot of fucking money. So, as a result, Tekadan takes on the mission to escort Crudelia once again, and they hopefully get enough money to go about their business. But yeah, I really want to hear what you guys personally thought about this episode when you watched it because I cannot possibly be the only guy to watch this episode and thought in my head. What the fuck, Mikazuki? You are fucking out of your mind. Like, seriously, though, because I cannot be the only one that thought that. And also, moving back to Crank's death, like, it was so sad. Like, he was just laying there, bleeding out, I believe. And he was just like, I can't go back because I'll just dishonor my troops. And I just want you to help, you know, kill me and put me on my misery, Mikazuki. And Mikazuki was treated as. You know, like a, like a drag, like he didn't really want to do it, and it was just so boring to him. And he just like offed Crank and just went on with his day. I was just like, shit. He didn't show any emotion whatsoever. I was just like, okay, okay. Well, rip Crank. It was nice knowing you for the 
well, first three episodes, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, guys, overall, this episode was just pretty, pretty fucking violent. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>